Hello, this is Mercenary. Uh, as you know me on Savage 2. This is the first tutorial that I'm doing for the map editor for Savage 2. This is going to do uh, just the most basic things that you can do with a map editor, minus getting it set up. Uh, so let's begin. When you first get into the editor, you'll be presented with completely blank and untextured terrain. The tools provided will allow you to control almost every aspect of your map. At the bottom of the editor, they've also provided a handy mini-map that allows you to preview your work. First, let's get a feel for the size of the map by creating a barrel off. Click to form at the top of the editor to bring up the tools drop-down. Within that, we're going to select the Entity tool. Select the Barreloft model in the Models drop-down of the Entity Properties window. Then, click anywhere on the map to place the Barreloft. Now we have a size reference to use when creating the map. Feel free to choose another model if you're more comfortable with a different size reference. Now let's do some basic terrain texturing. Open the Tools drop-down and select Texture. Then we'll need to select the Texture subtool in the center of the three green buttons at the top of the editor. Choose any texture from the list. The editor defaults to the Layer 1 texture, which is the background. You'll also want to choose a larger brush. The Brush Selection button has a white dot and a black background. Now we can click anywhere on the map to apply our texture. To view the result of this change, we can open up the mini-map and click on the green Update button. Now let's go back to the Entity tool for a more thorough breakdown of the controls. Entities are pretty much any object that you can place on the map. For creating an entity, select the Create subtool from the list, then make sure the Entity Properties window is open by clicking on the down facing arrow. For the entities that we'll be creating today, all we need to do is select a model from the drop down list and click on the map to create the entity. The rest of the subtools for the entity tool allow you to move, rotate, and scale the entities. To use these subtools, select an entity, hold the mouse button down, and move the mouse. Now that we've got some texture, let's deform the map by raising or lowering the surface. Select the Deform tool from the drop-down list. Then, choose the Raise and Lower subtool, which will be at the far left of the list. Left-clicking will allow you to raise terrain. Right-clicking will allow you to lower it. For some of the other tools, left-clicking will paint things, and right-clicking will erase them. One thing you'll notice is that deforming terrain will not affect any entities that are on that terrain. The other subtools for the deform tool allow you to smooth terrain, flatten terrain, and set the terrain to a specific height. Now it's time to apply a Layer 2 texture, which will be applied over top of Layer 1. The Layer 2 texture will blend into the Layer 1 texture, allowing for smooth texture transitions. Back at the Texture tool, choose the Texture subtool, choose a texture, and choose a brush. You'll also want to make sure to click on the Layer 2 button so our texture gets applied to that layer. Then you can click on the terrain in order to apply the Layer 2 texture. Notice how it blends into the Layer 1 texture. This is basically all you'll need to know in order to get started on a Savage 2 map. In the future, I'll be covering the map editor in more depth with more thorough and orderly tutorials.